How's it going guys? Dre here and today we're going to be playing with more RC cars wirelessly through the power of the internet. Now this is a game I showed a while ago. It's called Isotopium Chernobyl and we're actually not really going to be playing much of this one today. It's actually closed for registration right now. Uh, but I thought I would update you guys because you guys always ask me about this one uh, and I haven't checked it out in a while. So the game's changed. If you've never seen this game before, basically this is a game where you control a real world RC car through the internet on a scaled model of Chernobyl. You actually have to collect isotopes. There's a little bit of a game be, uh, be beyond it. And basically, the, the gist of it is you're driving an RC car around a scaled model of Chernobyl and it is fantastic. Everything about this I love. Now, unfortunately, the game didn't get the support they were probably expecting and now it's in registration mode. Before you could play whenever you want, now you need to register and basically once they get 50 bucks they'll open up the course and anybody who supported them uh, can play the game. It kind of makes sense with a game like this, uh, you can only, only a certain amount of players can play and I'm sure there's a lot of funds involved to uh, basically allow players to drive around RC cars. Now what they do have now is a whole new course. It's not a scaled model like Chernobyl, but it is the developer's office. And I thought this would be interesting to start at. We're actually going to be checking out a totally different game, by the way, today. Uh, another RC game where you control an RC car through the internet. Uh, but I thought we would just update on Isotopium Chernobyl because a lot of you guys have asked me about it. So, yeah. Let's go drive around the developer's office. That sounds weird. So it says, explore the developer's office, find all the important things. Well, that's kind of fun. We're on a scavenger hunt. Wave at the developer with the robot hand and <laughs> hit the leg of the developer. All right, please tell me the developer is still here. Okay, and here we are in the developer's office. Hello. How's it going? How do I... How do I... Oh, there we go. It's been a while. Dude, this is the weirdest thing. Okay, so I'm literally playing with one of the developers of the game in his office right now. <laughs> so yes, this is obviously... Oh my god, I can go under the desk? Dude, can I, can I run over his foot? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Let's go for the foot. Man, this has got to be so annoying. I feel bad. I don't even want to do it. Because like... I'm just going to hit it. There we go. <laughs> Oh god, I feel I feel weird right now. I'm not like spying on these guys or something But yes, this is obviously just a fun map where you could do whatever you want Let's go explore though and see what they have going on here And uh, yeah, then we're gonna be checking out a whole new game just like this So if you don't know what's going on, I'm wirelessly connected to an RC car and I'm literally driving around this place I can only imagine the amount of uh, things that they have just pushed around their office that they'll lose. Like, <laughs> the fact that I can literally go around their office and push anything I want over. Like, look at this thing. Can I, can, I, can I knock this over? No, it looks like my wheels can't get up on the top of that. Hold on. What is that? It's an old VHS giant mutant. Ah, god damn it. Don't do <laughs> <laughs> God, now, now the developers are trolling me. That That is absolutely fantastic. That actually kind of scared me. Okay, let's go over. I wonder if I can go see see, see what they're working on right now. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Thank you. He gave me money. Okay, the developer has to help my dumb ass out. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so yeah, that's the arm, by the way. So I have two arms, so if this thing ever flips over, uh, you can actually unflip it, but that actually shows what the robot looks like, too, so that's pretty cool. I love that the developer's helping me out. Oh my god, what is that? Oh no. Oh no, look at this thing. That is amazing. I, f I found the guy working. What, what's he working on right now? I don't want to actually look at his browser. That's weird that I can actually see his screen. Okay, don't run me over, buddy. I'm just trying to get by here. Oh my god, I actually can. And then, do we have anybody else working? No, we don't. And then we're back at the money. So there's lots that I missed. That's for damn sure. I'm just going to say bye to this guy. Bye. Oh yeah, okay. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll, go, I'll come over. Hey, buddy. What, 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 do you, what do you got? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, some Jack. There we go. <laughs> These guys clearly know how to party. All right. Oh, no. I fell down. That was way smaller than I expected. So, yes, I thought we would quickly check out this. What an interesting experience. Let's go check out another game, though. And this one's called Sumo Bots. All right, and welcome to Sumo Bots, ladies and gentlemen. We are battling with little robots, and that was my team right there. So, yes, this is a Battle Royale-esque arena with six different real-life players going to battle against each other. And I think I'm at the far t Yeah, I'm at the top right. Uh, the one spinning right now with my mouse over it, that is indeed my vehicle. Now, these are actually uh, all sponsored by eSports teams, so each one's a, a different eSports team. And I gotta say, I'm definitely lagging a little bit. They're based out in Finland, so I am gonna have some latency being Canadian myself. Um, but it's actually not bad. Okay, I have this guy lifted. Can I actually... Seems to be holding quite well. All right, I'm gonna back up. I do not want to get stuck under him. I want to see if we can actually survive this. Actually, look at these guys. Okay, those guys over there are going to fall. Now, the the viewers, it's very much like a Twitch chat. The viewers, oh, did I get him in? I knocked him in, yes. The viewers are the ones deciding which platforms are falling right now. So I'm just gonna stay out in the middle here because I know the outer arena is going to fall first. And if these guys want to get in, in here, I'm going to have to push them out of the way. But yes, this is all totally free. It's on a, a website called surrogate.tv. They actually have a bunch of different game modes, three to be specific. Uh, you can play pinball, you can race cars, and then you can have this battle bot arena so far. Oh God, okay, almost fell off the ending there. I'm going for the ram. No, I'm not. Okay, oh God, don't. Okay, the brakes are and the gas are a little ag ag aggressive. All right, we got four in the middle here. This is actually scary. Everybody doesn't want to try and ram. I'm noticing my vehicle seems to lean to the left a bit when I when I go straight. So I'm just trying to stay in the middle because I can't really ram very well. Come on, get him. Oh, oh no, no, <laughs> come on, I got it, I got it. There we go, I'm pushing him. I am not letting off of the gas. Oh, he's got grip though, and there we go. It looks like I was eliminated. It looks like the leaderboard's a little bit delayed. This is very much a new game, by the way. It just came out, so it might be a little bit glitchy. All right, but there's our winner. We didn't win that one, but I came in second. I'll take it. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, so yeah, you can choose your team here. As you can see, I don't care. I just want to get into the next game. And the cool thing about this is this is all automated. So the bots will reset automatically. And basically, once they, they get the kinks out of the system, this should be playable 24-7. And uh, it's totally free, like I said. So surrogate.tv, this is not sponsored or anything. I just think this is really cool. Feel free to check it out, and you can play these totally for free as well. And here we go once again. So again, I think I'm the same guy. Let me just make sure here. Yes, indeed, I am. So uh, we've learned that this guy doesn't go in a straight line. You can see that's me going straight forward, and it is turning pretty hard to the left. So I, d I just got to... Play it safe a little bit. Can I actually just bang into these? Yes, you can. Oh, I feel like, look at that, I actually shook the glass. That's great. But I feel like if you really wanted to screw around, you could try and destroy these things, but I'm not doing that. So it looks like, ooh, these guys already, everybody's going down. I didn't even see this guy down here. Hiding out, playing it smart. I'm gonna try and hit this guy, but it's probably not gonna be too easy. There we go, a little bit of a love tap there. Oh, he's got me pinned. He's got me pinned in the wall. Oh, don't do that. Oh! The double pin! Oh, this is bad. This, okay, back up. <laughs> he knew he would be screwed, too. Uh, all right. I looks like these are slowly going down all the way around. So I'm going to make my way to the middle here. No, let me in. Okay, I have made it into the middle. Oh, can I push him? Oh, I pushed him out with me. Are you serious? I just let that guy win. I got too aggressive. I got a kill, but I killed myself as well. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, and this time we are green. I think this is gonna be my last one, so hopefully we can get a win. Uh, because I think I've come in second a couple times, third, but I still haven't gotten a win under my belt, unfortunately. So hopefully green's the one that can do it for me. I, again, I'm gonna play very passively. I feel like that's the answer in this game. Very much like an ordinary battle royale. Sometimes the best players are the ones that are not going out like crazy and trying to get all the kills. I'm hoping they'll vote for that one to drop. Never mind, they're gonna be in the middle now. I was gonna say I was gonna keep them out of this zone. No, 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 no. How are you guys so good at this? How are you? No! Come on, come on, don't do this to me. 
Why are you working together right now? Are you serious? I'm, I'm like wedged in here or something. They, they can't seem to get the momentum. They really want to get me down and there we go. Damn it. Did I get coming second or third? That's the bigger question. I should have been third, but who knows? And Team Ents is our winner once again. Team Ents seems to be the answer here. And yes, I got third place there, so I'm not surprised. All right, and moving on to the next game mode. Yes, we're doing some simple racing here. This this is bringing me back to my childhood. I had so many slot car tracks. This is obviously not slot car, but very, very similar. Um, okay, so I'm the blue car. Oh, man. Okay, let me just make sure. All right, there. Now I have controls. Oh, the latency. I can see already. This is going to be fun. So, yes, we're playing against five other players and uh yeah it's a simple it's a simple race right now uh okay well i guess we're going straight from four to zero and <laughs> okay i don't feel bad anymore because it looks like everybody's gonna have latency issues now that i mean you're not gonna get an amazing lap with something like this we're playing across the internet this is based in finland and i'm driving a car in canada right now so that alone is amazing and i think the technology is only gonna get better the more we support games like this, uh, I can't believe I'm still in second place right now. It's it's not a fast race. Clearly, the white car, though, knows what the hell he's doing because everybody else, me and yellow, are, are neck and neck right now. This is kind of exciting. But the white car is just so far ahead. Oh, this guy's keeping me into the wall here. Come on, we have to work together, yellow. We have to catch white. Okay, white is literally lapping us. White, how are you so good? Maybe I'm just bad. I don't know. But the fact that I'm in second, I'll take it. So I should talk about some of the technology that goes into this racetrack. It's actually pretty cool. Each car has a light sensor underneath the car. And for example, if you're going over the green grass, it will naturally slow you down just like if you were driving on grass on a real racetrack. They also have puddles in place. There's no puddles on this current course, but basically there's blue puddles that will spin you out. And then there's yellow speed boosts that the cars can do as well uh, as they change the course around. I don't know if you've noticed, but the course is basically like these puzzle pieces so this is not the only course they, they will use there's lots of different courses they, they can make and I like the idea that they have power-ups and whatnot and you might be asking yourself with something like this how do they charge the cars which is something that I was curious about they've actually developed a docking system that auto charges them and if you look at the bottom I think that's where they go to dock up the cars last about 45 minutes on a, on, on a full battery but to keep this on all the time, obviously, they need to automatically dock the cars and then have cars in storage come out uh, to get back on the racetrack. There's a lot of technology that goes into something like this just for us to stupidly go around the racetrack and try to uh, beat each other. And I have no idea how that guy did so well. His best time was 24 seconds. <laughs> My best time was over a minute. All right, another race and another car. I like the look of this one. Uh, hopefully it goes a little better than last time. Then again, I came in second, so I'll, I'll take it. But if I could get a first, that would be great. Uh, this one feels much more responsive. At least the test the controls thing does, so that's a good sign. Hopefully my driving is somewhat good. Here we go once again. Good luck to the competition. By the way, you can totally talk to the competition. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but it's very much like watching a Twitch stream. Basically, there's a chat on the far right where uh, players can vote for different things. And yeah, you can talk to everybody as well. Looks like we have a little bit of a, a delayed start. That or people are not playing right now. I am not doing as good this time. This car has a mind of its own. I will say I've been talking to one of the developers though, and the thing is you just have to get used to the latency. If you can if you can plan ahead and learn how to deal with the latency, you can definitely do this. It's just when you when you when your turns are about a second later than when you actually hit the button, it takes a lot of practice to get good with something like that. And I'm sure you could over time. Right now, I am not the most skilled. I'm just happy I'm making it around the course. I'm just going for a nice Sunday drive. Oh man, he is so concentrated right now. I'm trying my best. I gotta catch up to blue. Come on, yes, crash blue. Oh, and I take third once again. Oh, this is a good race with me and blue here. Now, now I'm actually trying to play well. Oh my God, blue, no. Blue, get out of the way. Oh man, okay, come on, yes. I'm so glad blue keeps crashing. Now blue did this part very well last time and it looks like he's a master at this part. I don't seem to be in. Damn it! I didn't even realize the time was done. Ah, uh, 
All right, now I'm not racing in this one. I just wanted to show you. I think this is really cool. I don't know how this magic works either, but if you're just viewing the race, you actually get these different view angles as well of the actual race itself. Like, that is so cool to me. You're in the same browser. I don't know how it's a different stream or how they do this. I don't know what the magic is behind, be, behind the scenes, but this is just so cool to me. Uh, we're going to move on. We have one more quick one to check out, which is pinball. Uh, but yeah, that was racing, and that was really, really fun. And now we have Batman by Stern Pinball. Yes, we're playing. This is amazing to me. We're playing pinball over the internet, and it's actual real pinball. Don't get me wrong. I like the, I like the software versions of pinball, but nothing is like the real thing. So... We actually compete with other players, too. You can see at the top left, I am not going right now. Saku is. And it looks like Saku is figuring out the controls right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Basically, we're just playing pinball against other players right now over the internet. This is great. All right, and it looks like it is my turn, finally. i got to say I'm a little nervous now. Let me just make sure. Okay, yes, indeed. I am in full control, so it uses your, your control keys for each flipper. You have your left and right control. Where the hell's the ball at? Okay, hold it. Oh, there is a little bit of lag, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, there we go. And, oh, I didn't get it up. Oh, the lag. It almost screwed me over. Oh, it's going to have to, it's going to take some getting used to to get to that lag. Did I just bounce it up top? That was amazing. And there we go. Almost missed it again due to the lag. So, yeah, it's just practice getting used to the latency. But once you get used to it, you're basically just playing a real life pinball online. And it's the greatest thing ever. All right, let's see if we can beat these guys. So there goes my turn. I don't know how many turns we get. I don't even know what place I'm in. I guess we'll have to wait till the end to find out. Good luck, Rod Dog. And I guess I'm up. Oh my God, I love. I didn't even notice the cartoon, or sorry, not cartoon, the comic graphics before. But there we go. Shot my ball. Hopefully this time we can last a little bit longer. But honestly, I'll just be happy if I can hit it a few times. <laughs> and so far, I almost screwed up there. All right, let's, let's try and hold it. I'm not going to be able to hold it. I'm going to have to smack it. There we go. Oh. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, I'm going to try and snipe for one of the uh, tunnels here. See if we can get it. Missed it, but just. I was going for that one. Oh, got it again. What the heck is that thing? Okay, well. Oh, I, damn it. The lag. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I forgot about the lag for a second. I thought I was playing in, in, in real life. All right, but there we go. We almost came first. Clearly, I'm just really good at second with these things. All right, and on that, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some more remote control games that you can play online. And, uh, yeah, this is a new one, surrogate.tv. So this is their three games right now. They're uh, developing more, though, and it's honestly really exciting. I love things like this, uh, and it blows me away that this is currently totally free. I don't know how they're going to monetize this later, but right now, if you register and log in, you can play all these games totally for free at surrogate.tv. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see some more things like this. Uh, there's a few more games out there that I know of that are kind of like this that are really, really cool. And yeah, if you guys like this kind of stuff, maybe we'll do another episode. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.